Hey guys, so I'm here with another celebrity tutorial and this is one inspired by Selena Gomez for her new video, Hit the Lights. Um, in this video, it's a lot different than her last video. I did a makeup tutorial on her last video. Um, what was it called? Love You Like a Love Song. But um, for this video, she has more, it's not as dramatic, her makeup, because in her last video she had like crazy purple eyes and like crazy costumes and stuff. But for this video, I saw that her makeup was a little bit more toned down. And I feel like she was wearing like the same makeup look in almost every scene of the video. So what I did was a look inspired by that. Um, it seems like she had like a cat eye in the video, but it wasn't like a really dramatic cat eye. And then in one of the scenes, she had a really pretty berry lip. I think she was like wearing a blue dress and her hair was straight and she had like a necklace on and she just had a really bold berry lip, but then a subtle kind of smoky cat eye. So that's the look that I came up with for today. I hope you enjoy it and don't forget to um, tell me what you think in the comments below. And if you aren't subscribed already, please do that. But other than that, enjoy the so look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start off by applying a primer all over my lid. And the one I'm using is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And if I forget to mention any of the products, I'm gonna have them all listed in the down bar if you guys wanna check it out there in case you know you miss what I say or something. And we're gonna be applying product underneath our eye as well. So just make sure you get primer on your lower lash line as well as your inner tear duct. Next, I'm just gonna be picking up a shimmery champagne color. And this is one from MAC. And I'm just going to be applying this on the inner third of my eye as well as my inner corner and tear duct. And this is just going to help brighten our eyes because this look is kind of smoky and it's a little bit dramatic. So this color is just going to help brighten our eyes. And with a pencil brush, I'm just going to place a little bit more of that champagne color on my lower lash line. So next with that same flat shader brush, I'm just going to be picking up Max Sable. And this is just a really pretty shimmery brown. It's such a gorgeous color. And I'm just going to pack this on all over my eyelid. And this is going to kind of act as like the base for our look because this look is, it's not like a super dramatic cat eye. It's going to be more of a subtle. And then I'm just going to kind of wing up that color a little bit just to get the start for our cat eye shape. And then with that same pencil brush, I'm just going to be applying Sable to my lower lash line. And I'm just going to connect it and bring it over to the shimmery champagne color and just kind of blend those two together. So with a fluffy blending brush, I'm just gonna be picking up this matte brown color right here. And I believe that this is soft brown by matte. We don't really want too much color in our crease, but we wanna have something there just to give the look a little bit more dimension. So I'm just gonna be applying this subtly in my crease. And go over to your other side if you think you need a little bit more. So now I'm just going to line my waterline with a black eyeliner. This is one from Stila. It's my absolutely, it's my absolute favorite eyeliner. And then I'm also going to tight line my eyes, and I just do this by holding up my eyelid like this. I know it looks a little creepy, but it works. And then what I'm going to do is just lightly line my upper lash line, and this doesn't have to be a precise line because we're going to smudge it out, so just lightly, lightly make a line. And make it a little bit thicker towards your outer corner and not as thick on the inner corner because we want to, the line to be skinny on the inside and then sort of get thicker. Right, so once you have your messy line, what we're going to do is we're going to take a brush like this. Here, I don't know if you guys can see. There it is, and we're gonna use this to smudge it out and make our cat so eye. I'm just gonna start by smudging that line just to make it look a little bit more smooth so it's not like splotchy. And I'm gonna bring a little bit onto my lower lash line just like this to bring the shape together. Selena's cat eye, it looks, I couldn't really tell from pictures and from the video, but it looks a little bit dramatic, but not to the point of like, I don't know, crazy dramatic. It looked, it was like a youthful type cat right. eye. So once you have your cat eye drawn out like that, I know it looks a little bit splotchy. What I'm going to do is take my same pencil brush and go back in with Sable and go over the shape of the cat eye. And this is going to make it look, have a little bit more of a brown tone. It's not going to be so like dark and black. And I think this is what helps tone down the look a little bit. Because I was looking at Selena's cat eye and it didn't look like, it didn't look super dark. It looked a little bit more subtle, which is the reason why I liked it so much. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of smudge out my cat eye with sable. And if you wanna go back over to your other eye just to make sure they look even, um, you can do that as well. So next I'm just gonna highlight underneath my brow, and this is Blanc Type by MAC. And you can really use any brush to do this, but I just find that a fluffy brush works best. So I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyebrow and then kind of blend it downwards into that brown crease color that we have. And you're just gonna wanna curl your lashes cause Selena has super pretty curly lashes and she's probably wearing false lashes too, but I'm just not gonna be wearing false lashes today just because I have big eyelashes already. And then you're just gonna wanna apply your favorite mascara and the one I'm using is from MAC and it's the Zoom Lash Mascara. 
Alright, and that is it for the eyes. So the look that Selena is wearing in the video, she has very contoured and pronounced cheeks. So I'm just going to start off by applying a, bron a bronzer. And this is one from MAC. It's MAC's Golden Bronzer. And I'm just going to pick it up on the tip of a fluffy of, on the tip of a fluffy blush brush like this. So just apply it in like swooping motions just like this up and down. You want to apply it below your cheekbone, so right down here. And if you're pale like me, don't overdo it because it's just going to look super fake and people are going to know that you're wearing bronzer and that you've contoured your cheeks and I don't want to look like I have crazy amounts of bronzer on, especially since I'm going to class in a few minutes. So I'm just going to apply this a little bit on my neck, and this is just going to give me a little bit of color. But you could always do it way more dramatic if you want to get a super close look to what she had in the video. So once you've applied your bronzer, it's time for blush. And I couldn't really tell if she was wearing a dramatic blush or like what type of color it was. So I'm just going to assume that it was just like a basic pink blush because she didn't really have... A bright color on her cheeks. The only thing I really noticed was the contouring that she had done. So this is um, a blush by MAC and this is Dame and I absolutely adore this blush. If you're gonna get any blush from MAC I would suggest this one just because it's so basic and it's just so appropriate for daytime and it just goes with any look. Like I think like everybody needs like a basic pink blush and this is why I love this one because it's like my go-to you know like blush color whenever I need but one. Now it is time for the lips and I have two different lip options here because in the video she has really bright crazy dramatic like raspberry lips but I, I'm not going to do that right now um, just because I'm going to class and I don't want to have crazy bright lips but if I did want crazy bright lips I would use this one from Wet n Wild. Um, it's a little bit messy but this is in the color um, Passionate and it's a really pretty berry pink color but I'm going to go for something a little bit less dramatic but still going along with like the berry pink theme and um, this is Hot Gossip from MAC so I'm just going to use this as my lip color and I absolutely love this lipstick. I definitely recommend it. So yeah, this lip look is definitely not as dramatic as what she had, but you could apply a gloss too over top if you want to look more glossy. You could apply a bolder lip color. You don't even need to do the berry lip. But this is just basically what I came up with. I hope you guys liked it. I think it was more daytime appropriate and not as dramatic than the one that Selena was wearing in the video, so that's why... I liked it so much. Don't forget to tell me what you think in the comments below. Leave me suggestions for future videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Also below, I'll have all the products listed, but also I'll have the links to my blog and my Twitter. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, you could do that. And then um, you can follow my blog too. I do a lot of like fashion type stuff on my blog if you want to check that out. But thanks again guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. I think it's really pretty. I'm really happy with how it came out. So yes, thanks again, and I hope you guys all have a great week.